commonly asked question by those new to WordPress is what is the difference between posts and pages? So let's take a look. Inside your dashboard, you'll find posts located under posts or posts. This is where you'll find your published posts and any posts that you've saved as drafts. You add a new post using posts add new. Pages are located under pages or pages and you add a new page using pages add new. Posts and pages are both written using a block editor. The block editor looks the same here, but when you look at the editor's sidebar here, it looks different. If you can't see the sidebar, click on the settings icon. For posts, you'll see an option to add categories and tags. Categories and tags help readers find posts that you've published with that category or that tag. Pages have different options. You don't see the option to add a category or a tag, but you see an option to add page attributes, which could be to change the template used on that page or to locate a page underneath a parent page. On the front end, posts are displayed in reverse chronological order from your most recent post to your oldest post. When you click on a post, you'll see at the top of the post or at the bottom the author's name, the date, you might see the category and the tags. And when somebody clicks on a category or tag, it takes them to all the posts that were published with that category or tag. If you scroll to the bottom of a post, you'll see an option to add a comment. This allows your readers to interact with you. Now, if you compare that to a page, you don't see the person's name, the date. You don't see a category or a tag because you can't add a category to a, a page and you won't see comments at the bottom. You can enable comments on a page, but it's less common. Pages are used for content that's rarely updated, like a welcome page or an about or a contact. So these are pages. If your site was being used for blogging, reflective learning, or sharing tips and information with others, you probably leave your front page as a blog post home page and most of the content you publish will be added using a post. WordPress is also used for building websites. So if you're building a class, faculty or research website, most of your content would be added as pages. You would probably change your front page to a, pay, a static page rather than using a blog post page and you would do this in settings reading and you would probably set up a custom menu to control what links appear at the top of your site.